hello so let's start our discussion about another category of the selectors which is the selector for different form elements so here in the api documentation you will find a huge list we are going to see them with the one single example and a uh, few other things into that so let's have a look at our example what the example is about so here in the example i have created a form fine which has an input type text email fine then there is a checkbox there is a radio button file input is there password input is there text area is there a normal button is there as usual input type submit type reset and type button is also there now to select any one of these fine here let's see our code so here i am using form this mechanism now here we are actually putting two things over here one is the form and inside the form we are selecting the text fine this means input type text you could say input colon text also over here or you could say it directly like this so here we are selecting the form input type text so if there would be multiple input type text those will be selected and css will be applied to that similarly here we have input type checkbox and input type radio now here in input type checkbox and radio there is one thing that they cannot be selected directly so for those in those cases what has been done is we have put a span around input type checkbox and input type radio now in this input type checkbox and input type radio what we have done is when we will select these we will select its parent which is span and change its css to see the effect because this gets selected the remaining effect takes place so point to understand is dependent upon your requirement based on the selector you can extract the value you can take some action and so on but the idea to understand over here is that that using these values we can select different of those so text is for text box input type checkbox radio in these cases you need to use input type checkbox and input type radio there is some reason behind that which you can read in the api documentation but for the time being just understand this so password is for password here i have used form colon reset now if you remember comma allows me to select multiple of them so rather than making my code longer over here i have written for reset submit and button border solid pink fine so different colors will be selected for different one of them there is a file and uh, there is no colon for text area you simply have to say form text area fine because it's not a input type these are usually for input types fine and one i have commented out which says form colon input if you say form colon input what's going to happen is all the elements which are of the type input type text radio and all anything that is like input ones will be getting selected so we will see this later on and this is for checked and disabled so we will see this later on so first of all let me match this to et fine and let's see the output for this so here is my example fine now when i click here we will see all the selectors fine input type name email check boxes are selected radio buttons are selected and so on and all the buttons and other things are getting selected so those are working now next over here let's take this example i will have to comment this out and form input let's and comment this line and we'll comment these lines now here all the input types will get will get selected now let's reload our page over here and you can see all the input types fine they are selected now the checkbox and radio button did not work because over here if you remember i had discussed that you have to select the parent and in this line the parent selection is not there so they are getting selected but the effect you are not going to c fine now another type of selector is checked and disabled now these work for 
input types like check boxes or drop down lists or radio buttons so if any one of them is ticked or let us say selected by default like over here one of the check boxes i have kept the checked is equal to checked you can write the shorthand actually just writing checked assumes that it is checked so if we change this to this now fine so that the button click works for this piece of function or this piece of function works with this button okay so let's see how this is working so here i have one is for checked so it simply will select all of them which are checked now there is another one called as disabled or opposite is enabled it will select all of those ones which are disabled so here like i have set the email to be disabled fine this is one of the attributes of forms if you know so let's click on this so elements which are disabled and elements which are selected they get this so if we reload this and let's say we check this fine and let's say we reset the form so this checkbox is already checked and let's check this one and click here to reload so now the checked ones are getting selected let's reset this again and reload the page because the css will not go away now let's disable this let's select the radio button and then radio button is getting selected fine so basically the one which is selected or either you have mentioned selected by default those are going to be working and what is enabled opposite of disabled is enabled so all the elements which are enabled those will work for this fine so all of those enabled ones are selected and they are working fine so here this is what we are discussing about different type of selectors a small overview of these selectors few other selectors are there we will see them during the different examples and other places where they will look much more suitable fine so that's one of the categories of our selectors under the form we'll continue our discussion in the next video